Hello guys, uh, my name is Charles Negromonti, Black Bell in Jiu Jitsu, uh, as well six time Grand Slam champion. Uh, and this time I'm going to be competing in a 94 uh, division, massive and professional. Uh, I have been training uh, for over 17 years and uh, it's, been a, it's been a journey. I'm here in the UK and then now I'm living in Australia and Jiu Jitsu is going uh, in a good direction. but. Um, some countries a little bit faster, some countries a little bit slower, but um, in a good direction. And uh, yeah, just happy to see, you know, like in five years time, when every time I'm thinking about five years back, it's a massive difference in terms of opportunities and how the sport getting to a professional level. And uh, yeah, I'm just happy to be part. The group of Jiu Jitsu uh, has been very I'm Nia Blackman, I'm 18 years old and I'm a brown belt under Marco Kanya and I'm going to be fighting in the under 70 division at Grand Slam this weekend. Like obviously it's good for self-defense and it helps increase your confidence. But the thing I really like about Jiu Jitsu is that you can kind of evolve at your own pace and it's like, it's your journey, it's about you. So I like how it's not that uniform, you know, you get to be quite free with it, flowing with it and just do it to the best of your ability. Because I think Jiu Jitsu, since I started very young, I think it's my life, you know, uh, and I also like in general helped me a lot like with a lot of things like uh, like to be disciplined you know to be a better per person to respect like the other persons and to help my family as well since i come for like for from the favela you know like the the sport make me to be here today like out of country this is like very hard for us over there you know that's why i think this uh that's what keep motivate me like to keep going on the Jiu Jitsu career. I'm Bradley Hill. I'm a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and I'm competing in the under 85 kilo division. Oh, yeah, I've had a great experience in AJP. I've uh, been all around the world with them competing in all different events along with my wife, Samantha. Uh, I was more of just uh, holding her medals. Uh, so now it's time for me to go get mine. Uh, but yeah, we, we've been to Tokyo, Rio, uh, LA, um, all, all over uh, to do these events, uh, Abu Dhabi and themselves. So it would be nice to compete again on home soil and just go to the Grand Slam here in London. Hi, I'm Nikki Lloyd Griffiths. I'm a black belt from Immersion MMA under Lee Ting and Dave Maranathis. And I'm competing in the AJP Under 70 Brown Black League. I think AJP has a really good competition. Um, they treat the athletes really well, prize money, big divisions, um, and I just really like their events. I started working with Bralo and Jiu Jitsu and got into events, so now I work for AJP as an organiser in the UK. Um, obviously, I've worked for other organisations for competitions, the British Open, um, and yeah, it was just different. It was fun. Like, it's a lot of new people, different rules, huge events, like the Grand Slam is huge, it's one of the biggest events I've ever worked on. And it's just great, like it brings together a lot of different people from different backgrounds, different areas, and it's just nice, it's fun. Um, it's always uh, super professional. That, that's the biggest thing with, with these events. Um, everybody there treats you very well when you come to compete and uh, everything's ran on time perfectly. You, you get treated like a professional, like you would do in any other sport. Uh, sometimes when you go to some of these other countries, you, you don't necessarily get that same treatment. Um, so that's the, the nice part when you do go to, to Abu Dhabi. You, you see the, the billboards of jiu-jitsu stars and you arrive at the airport and as you're waiting for your luggage, you can see Bushesha on the wall. So it's nice to see jiu-jitsu recognized as highly as it is in Abu Dhabi. Hey guys, Jorginho here. Um, I'm a brown belt from GB Birmingham and I will fight in the Grand Slam, London, in the heavyweight division. I, I had some competitions in Brazil, I think maybe four or five from AGP, but no 
and never never staged like a Grand Slam? Um, it's definitely something different because um, I've never in the gi for, you know, other black belts. Like obviously training and competition competition are two different things. So it's gonna be, you know, different. The intensity I expect is gonna be different, but I'm quite excited. Uh, my name is Paris Benlam Kadem, black belt fine in the minus 85 division at Abu Dhabi Grand Slam. You're gonna see high intense violence at the highest level, going for the gold as always, right? And not looking past anyone I fight, right? So, you know, whoever I fight, regardless of who they are, they'll get treated like the best guy in the division or the worst guy. They're gonna be the same. Uh, you guys already know. <laughs> you should expect firework, you know, me going crazy, very hard, you know, all over the place, like I always try to do. If you guys know me, you know that the show is coming. I'll be uh, top, bottom, all over, jumping, flying, all sorts. You, probably, you guys probably heard many times how Gigi to like humble you somehow and then put you in a, under pressure situations that, uh, you know, you, you're going to find this, uh, this way to humble you up every day when you're training because you know you come with a lot of you come with a lot of like I want to do a lot of stuff but when you get there you can't do anything and you're always in a bad position that's I think you, there's a lot to learn when those type of situations happen with you. It's a hard one to say you know but definitely because hmm, now like I'm a black belt so now it's like I kind of can't look up to anyone and respect them too much because then it will get in the way of me fighting them if I had to potentially fight them. But I would definitely say Leandrilo, for sure, is one of my inspirations, especially from going from white belt, like similar uh, stature to me, so I always used to watch him because I wanted to emulate pretty much what he did, you know. Uh, the best advice is uh, to keep believing yourself, you know, uh, keep going, uh, always believe. Because, yeah, we need to believe, otherwise nothing happens, you can see like, uh, where I come from, you know, like I say, to be here, to be competing, to be traveling, to be meeting new people, you know. If you have a goal, like if you have a dream, you just need to stick it. And always, you know, you need to keep going, keep going. And one time, you know, the things are going to start like be uh, on your favor, you know, and the things are going to start work well. And from there, just go forward and never stop. Um doing being part of the organization we all join forces on the on your own way to make an amazing celebration for jiu-jitsu here in the UK